You know why I really hated that movie? The ending. The ending to me was just the biggest middle finger I've seen since M. Night Shyamalan decided to change Ang's name to freaking Ong in The Last Airbender. That is how much of a betrayal that was. You know why? Because in the end, when Percy meets Poseidon, and Poseidon says, I'm sorry I wasn't there for you. I'm sorry I wasn't there to see you grow up. But I love you as a son, and I will always watch out for you, and I will always be there for you. I cried a little bit when I read that scene. So when Luke, like, invites, so after it's like a job well done, a celebration, a yub yub, yub yub, yub yub, Met give Percy a freaking medal like in Star Wars moment. Luke, Luke and Percy, they take a six pack of code uh, in the series. Mortal food is forbidden in Camp Half Blood. So they're just casually talking. You know how good friends they are. So then Luke sends a snake. It's like Percy starts going delirious. And then he realizes it was a snake bite. And you're like, what the fuck? And then you realize, and then Luke's like, Sorry, Percy, but we are the gener we are the future. The gods are old. It's time to help get the Titans back up. And you feel Percy's betrayal. You see, you feel his loss. Why do you feel his loss? Because Luke and Percy's relationship was like an Anakin. No, was like a Luke and Ben Kenobi relationship. Okay, when I was reading about Luke training Percy, I loved those scenes in the book. Because it was like he was learning, and he was really becoming a badass, and it was really good. I liked the character of Luke in the first book, and it was really a tragedy to see Luke turn on Percy because I felt that. But in the movie, oh no, I'm Luke. I'm flying on the Empire State Building. Look at me. I got my lightning bolt. I got my lightning bug. See, Percy, the guy's just evil. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, screw salty and good character development. Let's just make him fly over. Woo! Yeah, I would have. No, I wouldn't have. It would have been fucking better, and I wish I would have directed the movie. If I were Rick Reardon, the guy who wrote the book, I would have been driving home going, Here's a fucking piece of shit. Here's a fucking piece of shit. Fucked up my whole vision. Point is, you know, at least with freaking Harry Potter and Twilight and Hunger Games, they're mostly loyal to the source material. Even fucking Twilight is loyal to the source. To, is loyal to the fucking source material. But I wish to God it wasn't at all. This movie is nothing like the books. It's got characters, it's got aspects, but it is nothing like the epicness of the book. Trust me, this series is going to bomb. I want a reboot. I want a fucking reboot, not a sequel. <sighs>